So, so is you really trying to pour that shit on his fucking shit? Is that what you trying to do? And uh, Horace was like, um, no, no, that's that's not the whole plan. And you know, thief, thief dude is like, yeah, motherfucker, that's the whole plan. So anyway, uh, <laughs> she's like, you dumbass motherfuckers, you know you got to get past the Sphinx, right? If you don't answer that riddle, your ass is dead, bitch. And they're like, oh, we didn't think about the riddle, fucking Horace. And Horace was like, all right, then we got to go find Toph. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, cool. We're going to go find Toph. Let's do that shit. Let, let do that shit. And um, <clears throat> when they're walking, uh, the the uh, goddess of love, She's she actually shows herself to be a really interesting character. Um, she has a lot of compassion for people, especially when they're in love. And when she sees that the thief dude is in love with the uh, the lady, because he tries, she tries. Um, when they're in this swamp, she tries. They're getting close to Toph, Tor or Toph, uh, the black guy who's the god of uh, wisdom, um, who isn't. He's not fighting. He's not a fighter. He's not fighting against the set because he's not a fighter. He's like just hiding out in his library, you know, going over. You know, he's really interested in knowledge, so he's constantly. Um, mulling over things and trying to figure out deeper meanings and certain things. And um <clears throat> she tries to use her command on him to go and get her some more water because she was like she was drinking this fucking wine. She was like, damn this some good ass Egyptian god wine. And it spilled and she was like, fuck. Go give me some fresh water, motherfucker. I command you. And he was like, man, you gods are the same, man. You always trying to fucking command people. Damn, oh, man, get the fuck out. You get your own water, you sexy lady. And she's like, it didn't work. You're in love. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's right. And she was like, who is she? And he was like, uh, actually, bitch, it's a he. Nah, that 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 was my part of the movie. I, I would have I would have had it like that, but but uh anyway, the fact of the matter is, is that um <laughs> she's like, who is she? And he's like well, she's dying, and I gotta save her. You know what I'm saying? Me, if I help Horace, he'll fucking save her from death. And you see this look on her, on a uh, fucking the the goddess of love's face, like, what the fuck? That this motherfucker done told this asshole to do something he can't do. What the fuck? Like, so she goes, um, and she's like, man, this, this shit ain't impossible. I don't know what this motherfucker talking about. She gets angry at Horace, and later on they have kind of a scuffle. Um, once they go get Toph, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, anyway, they find um, Toph, and he's, you know, he's the only one he trusts is himself, as they explain it. So he has a bunch of clones of himself running around doing all this, you know, stacking up these um, things in this giant library that he's hidden away in this small. This motherfucker is mulling over the deeper meaning of lettuce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's trying to find a deeper meaning in lettuce, and they're like, um, Okay, yo, can you help us? We need you to go answer the Sphinx, right? And he's like, uh, yeah, fine. One of you go ask what the question is, and then you come back, and I'll give you the answer. He's like, bitch, no, nah, you got to come with us. If we don't answer the question there, we will die. One of us has to die. He's like, cool. <laughs> and they're like, fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. And <laughs> he's like, I ain't got no problem with that. But anyway, they eventually um coax him in. Uh, coax him into doing it. I think they stroke his ego a little bit and uh, kind of, I think they bruise it a little bit actually and he's like, man, fuck all right, all right, you got you got me, you got me I ain't, I ain't stupid, but you got me so they go and then uh, <clears throat> on the walk toward uh, the rest of the walk toward the pyramid that um, it's like this shifting pyramid that control sets power in the sand, in the, out in the sand um, out in the desert, I mean, they have that conversation where she's like, yo, you know, you can't fucking do that. And you know, I can't do that. So why would the fuck would you lie to this dude? He deserves to know the truth. You know what I'm saying? And Horace, this is one of the, where the lesson, lesson of sacrifice and value comes in. He, he has, he doesn't value human life like his father Osiris did. And so he's like, bitch. I want my revenge. You know what I'm saying? And if I gotta use this motherfucker and make him think that we can do this shit, then that's just how it's gonna be. 
And she's like, that's real fucked up, homeboy. And he's like, man, man, whatever, man. <laughs> so so anyway, they get to the pyramid. Um, the thief guy's like, I can totally, I, I know how to get through this. It's that door. No, it's that door. And the fucking, um, the, the shifting stones are smashing together. He guesses and runs through and almost gets smashed. Then on the inside, this really crazy CGI staircase is going on where it's this sand like staircase that keeps like fading away and and fading in and so he jumps up it and i was really thinking like they should have done this scene where he had to jump up and then jump back down and do it in a certain sequence to make it but he basically just ran up it, it, there was no fucking it wasn't harrowing really um anyway he ran up it and uh he turns off the the trap so the others can come in um, they eventually go down to where uh, the Sphinx is, and they're like, Sphinx, it, the Sphinx is a really cool CGI scene. He's basically living sand. He's this giant living sand uh, creature, and um, he's like, answer my fucking riddle. Uh, what is fucking, what, people can never, you know, will never meet me, or whatever, and, you know, like, everyone knows I'm there, but no one ever touches me. What the fuck am I? And uh, I'm not even going to say what the riddle is. You just watch the movie <laughs> to see how they do it. But they get past it. Um, and so anyway, they get to right to where his thing is, right to where Set's thing is. And of course, this fucker set a trap. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, he he um he traps uh Horus and the goddess of love. And he actually kills Toph, which, oh, no, Toph. I mean, he was a bit of an asshole, but I liked his personality. He was snarky. He kills Toph by reaching into his fucking head and ripping out his glowing blue brain. Okay? <laughs> That's the thing that he puts inside his robotic form to give him the wisdom of Toph. Um, so Toph is fucking dead. Um so he sets like he's just you know boasting. He's like, "You motherfuckers, dumb! Like, you really think I didn't know you was going to, like, like, damn, y'all fucking stupid." Anyway, he looks over at uh at the thief guy. And he's about to pour the water of creation on his power. And he's like, "Yo, yo, 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 hold on, hold on. I know about your chicky chick. I know about your chick. Yo, he told you he can save. He can't do that shit. Ask him." And instead of being smart and lying again, Horace's dumbass doesn't say anything it gives set enough time to grab um to grab with one hand since the gods in this in this movie the gods are much taller and much bigger than um humans he grabs the uh the thing with one hand and pulls the guy away and he's he's like you're some you're some truly dumbass motherfuckers like really dope like really dope and for whatever reason set doesn't kill horus right then and there he really should have Set goes away. Um, they can't destroy his power source without the water of creation. All is fucking lost. Um, he's like the 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 thief guy is like, oh my god, I'll never see her again. And then the goddess of love does a really really compassionate thing. She says she conjures up Anubis and says, I will switch places. Um, No, she says, "I let me uh, give the girl, even after she's died, let me give her something so that she can get into the afterlife. The girl, I think her name is Aya or Zaya or something like that. Um, and the thief guy's like, no fucking way, really? And Anubis is like, okay. I mean, if that's what you want to do uh, for you, sure. Counsel, a former counselor of the dead or whatever. Um, I guess Anubis was like, you know, he must have got some of that too. Oh, God, I don't even want to talk about it. It's kind of gross. Anyway, um, the fact of the matter is, uh, she sacrifices herself by taking off the bracelet, and of course the demons take her. Um, she gives it to him, and Anubis allows um, the thief guy to cut in the line to go give the uh, <clears throat> to go give the bracelet to his beloved. Meanwhile, Set's asshole self goes back and puts the heart of Osiris, so he cut out his own brother's heart, one of the eyes of Horus, and then um, the brain of uh, Toph, of course, 
and the wings from his wife. He puts those on. He has them like bolted onto his metal form. And now he's like super power god mode. And he's like, I want to go up into the fucking, uh, into the sky. Cause I, his plan ultimately is to go to the land of the dead and conquer it. He, this motherfucker is so fucking ambitious and so greedy. He wants to go to the land of the fucking dead and conquer it. Wow. Anyway. So he goes up to see his father and he's like, look at all I've done, Fa. Ain't you, ain't you, are you proud of me, Papa? And he's like, yes, Ed, I am proud of you. But just like Shaquille was talking about at the beginning of this fucking synopsis, this very detailed synopsis that he's probably going to get in trouble for one day, uh, I want you to take my place. You have to fight the monster of Pathos. And he was like, what, motherfucker? What did you fucking say to me? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't have fucking kids because you just don't want me to. You make me walk around in the fucking desert forever. And now, now you want me to take your your place as this fucking celestial guardian for the rest of my fucking days? Man, fuck you, man. And at that point, I was kind of like, really? Really, Ra? Fuck you, Ra. Now, that's some fucked up bullshit. <laughs> you an asshole. And Rob was like, you're supposed to learn sacrifice, asshole. And he was like, man, I'm going to kill your ass. That's what I'm finna do. So he suited up, and Rob was like, really? Really, little boy? And he goes fucking super raw, and they fight each other. And because Set has all of his powers from the other guys, he's like, bitch, I'm strong. I'm strong. So he stabs Rob in the chest, and Rob's like, oh, old man death. And Rob falls off his boat, and his boat starts fucking falling to pieces. And... um. <clears throat> And Seth's like, I'm going to bring Apothos here so he can eat the fucking world, bitch. He's going to eat the underworld, too. Everything will be in chaos. And at that point, his plan really didn't quite make any fucking sense. But he he takes the staff of Ra, and now he's got all these badass powers. He goes to his pyramid, and he sets up shop on it, and he does this big-ass beacon into the sky. He's like, Apothos, come here, motherfucker. Come here and swallow this shit. And meanwhile, Apothos seems to be enormous because it also is attacking the underworld at this point. So uh, with no one to stop Apothos, it starts attacking the world, Egypt, and starts scooping shit up and just eating. Hungry ass motherfucker. And then it it also comes through the gate of the underworld to swallow up the souls. And the Anubis is like, oh shit, I can't keep this mother, motherfucker hell forever. And he's got this like telekinesis that he's shooting at, uh, at, um, at um, Apothos. And the thief guy's like, oh motherfucker, like, like we got to do something. I can't, I can't, uh, <laughs> I can't let this happen. I forget how he gets back, but he gets back to, uh, to Horus. And they're like, yo, we, we got to do this shit, yo. We got to we gotta stop this motherfucker. We got to set this shit right, you know what I'm saying? We got to do it. And Horace is like, you know what, man? We got to do this shit. Like, I, I can't let this happen. You know what I'm saying? I got to take this motherfucker out. So they get back to fucking Egypt. And Horace finds the power to fly um, <clears throat> through his will, I guess. Anyway, no, he, he doesn't find it yet. He doesn't find it yet. They get back to Egypt, and they capture the architect motherfucker. And this is towards the end of the movie. They capture the architect motherfucker. They're like, we got to get you to the top of the fucking um, obelisk, because that's where uh, dumbass is set trying to get Apothos to come and devour everything. Um, stupidly, I have no idea why, but... Horus leaves the thief guy with this asshole uh, fucking architect that they know doesn't like them. You know what I'm saying? He leaves them instead of taking the elevator up to climb up the side of the obelisk. How is that faster? I guess it is because he's enormous. Whatever. Anyway, uh, obviously the fucking asshole turns on them, tries to kill... Uh, Tries to kill Thief Dude. He's like, I don't care, motherfucker. I'm rich. Oh, shit. Hold on. I'll tell you about the rest in the next uh, chapter. Hold on.